Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-El, and man, do I have a good one for you. Uh, obviously, Mortal Kombat 11 right now, just uh, I've been playing it non-stop, and, uh, you know, was looking on the Nintendo eShop, and uh, a big gold nugget I discovered, and I thought I wanted to, sh I, you know, I definitely want to share this with you, it just came out uh, probably a couple of days ago. Uh, really awesome game, really something I think you guys would like, get this. It's under freaking $2. I kid you not. Go on the shop and see it for yourself. Under $2. And it reminds me of a lot of, a lot of games from Sega Saturn, from Dreamcast. Remember on Sega Saturn, I forgot what the heck it was called. I should be ashamed of myself. Uh, Eagle something, I don't remember. But they have like, uh, this game is going to remind you of a lot of things. And I just want, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little playthrough. It is extremely hard. So I'm going to give you a little playthrough and you guys tell me what you think of it, okay? Okay guys, so let's get right into this. This game right here. Let me just get this focusing again. Good lord. Uh, this game right here, Preventive Strike. Okay, we're going to go into this. I'm going to play it so you guys could see how the heck this game is. This is real time. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you uh, some pretty cool stuff on this, uh, w what I enjoyed personally in the game. Now, this part right here looks amazing. Part in the shaking right here, it's because of the 3D printer. I don't know if it's going to show up in the video, but hopefully not. But um, that's what it's uh, doing right now. So... <laughs> Let me just check this out. I want to show you guys how this game actually operates. You guys are going to be stunned. So this looks like crap right here. It looks like something out of a, you know, somebody did with DOS or something. But then once you get into the game now, this game is extremely hard. I can't, I can't say this enough. Um, I wish there was a way you could control the difficulty setting. But here we go. So you got missiles. You also got specials and all kinds of other cool things. So really, really cool. Kind of reminds me of Giga Wing in a way, but uh, also I forgot what it was called. Third Strike, I think it was called, something like that. Um, back in the in the days on Sega Saturn, this is what this thing reminds me of. Really, I'm not even kidding. This is amazing. Uh, so you're gonna see right now. So you get all kinds of cool power ups, and look at this. I mean, literally. And I think this game. Uh, I don't know what to say here, uh, but. There you go. Look at that. That's the, the bomb that kills everybody. And now I could just, like, get my stuff, get my shields going. Now I got nothing, so I got to be... Oh, get, be careful here. There you go. I got that one shield, so we'll see how the heck that operates. But uh, you don't have unlimited missiles. That's uh, what makes it challenging. But this game is extremely hard. I mean, I mean, I can't tell you how hard this is. Ridiculous. Like, oof. There you go. I don't know what to say. There you go. I just needed my shields. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, crap. I should have saved it. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I died. Now, look at this. Can't continue. We're, you're you're going to hit retry, right? So this is the score. This kind of reminds me of these old school arcade uh, arcade games where if you lose once you're pretty much dead and you got to start all over again a few arcade games did that it really used to piss me off back in the day um but uh this game is hard as hell and i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually save my power for a later point so i can actually so much going on here it's crazy Ooh, look at that There you go. It's like they're making you use your freaking specials or you die. There you go. Whatever. I don't care at this point. I needed to get that filler up. But I'm not going to use the uh, shield anytime soon. So, Oh, I think I got no more missiles, right? Yeah. Ugh. Not cool. <laughs> Ooh, this is annoying. Also, I wish they had like some kind of. Oh, I see it. Okay. Shit, I should have actually. <laughs> I should have saved it. I'm gonna get my ass kicked right now for sure. And boom. 
We'll give it another try. We'll see how it is. Really awful that it's like that. So you got high scores, controls. So here you go, missiles, airstrike, uh, and shield. So, I mean, I'm doing something, obviously. I need some more play. Uh, then you have uh, language, audio, whatever. Um, not really much over here uh, to look at. But let me guy, let me show you guys something pretty cool here. You guys would freaking be stunned when you look at this. So it's under great deals. Let me look here. Where the heck is it? I guess because I bought it. Um, <laughs> yeah, right there. Okay, this game is literally it was a dollar 79 with tax so i basically purchased this thing so i'm just going to show you here uh cuz i don't know if i'll i'll get through it all but look it looks pretty entertaining it's just i don't think i'll ever be able to beat this it's just extremely extremely hard but let's look at the video here uh for, and we're going to get to the bottom of this here So I guess there's more to this game than it looks. I mean, you could clearly see it. But the graphics look amazing. I mean, here it's blurry, but you saw how the game looks. But um, pretty intense. <laughs> and they lost, too. Uh, so it's pretty freaking intense if you think about it. It's a pretty freaking dope game. Another one that I didn't get, but I remember getting for the uh, cell phone is this one uh my friend actually has this game believe it or not and it looks absolutely freaking stunning um obviously just like the just like it looks on the phone except this time you have like more um you know controls using these joy cons here but let's take a look at this for a second here but uh the game looks absolutely incredible on it so i mean really cool and it's so freaking cheap as well yeah, these two games I do recommend. And look at another helicopter here. Uh, but as you can see, it looks really, really cool, even on the uh, trailer right here. Pretty awesome. And I got to tell you, I played it, and um, I got to say, I really enjoyed it uh, on this thing. I just, I'm not used to playing with Joy Cons. I'm just not uh, first person shooters. I'm just not really, I'm not that, you know, I, I don't know. It's just not for me. Uh, that's why I, as much as I love Doom, as much as I love all the other things, I, I just can't play it with the Joy-Cons. Uh, some people who are used to playing these games on consoles, you guys would have a kick-butt time. Me, myself, and I <laughs> uh, are just, uh, I'm not, to, I'm not, you know. But now they got a 40% discount on that for eleven ninety nine, And I got to tell you, the game runs flawless. I played it. There's no lag, no slowdowns, no anything. And it's 40% off. It's 20 bucks, And believe me, even at 20 uh, my friend swears by it. He says it's worth it. And I, after playing it, I got to tell you, I've seen some $20 games that were... Uh, I've seen some $50 games that were really crappy. And this thing looks really cool. So even at 20 it's amazing. But right now, they have a 40% uh, discount. 40% off. eleven ninety nine. Definitely... Uh, uh, on the radar definitely something uh to take a look at there's also another game that's coming out uh this one i you know i did a review for you guys i thought it was just okay i mean not the best thing in the world but this one right here castle heart is a nice one uh to definitely uh check out uh but uh, you know th those two games are really something i highly recommend now i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this even though this game is incredibly hard okay incredibly all right, just completely, completely freaking hard. All right, all I got to say is it keeps engaging me to play. I, I don't know how to explain this. Other games, I feel like rage quitting. This is such an easygoing game. And for under $2, $1.79, I bet you guys have some points stored. I bought it with my points. So I'm sure you guys have some kind of points that you guys can make work into, you know, into this. And I'm sure you guys will absolutely love it and be stunned by it. Uh, it's a great game. As you saw it in the trailer, there's other stages and looks good. This looks like crap here. But this game, I just wish that they had some kind of difficulty control or something because it is incredibly annoying that it's so freaking hard that I don't know what to say. I mean, 
It looks incredible. The graphics look incredible. It looks like Gigawing. It looks like art, uh, this art type ish type games, you know? But the thing is, uh, it is hard as hell. I think I'm doing better right now, so let's see. Maybe as I'm bitching and complaining, something will happen here. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to try to save my stuff and see the energy bar right there on the bottom left. I mean, it tells you how many missiles you have, what's the energy, and all that stuff. And, you know, so you want to kick butt as much as you can before going into that. It's like in Ninja Turtles, I remember when I, before hitting that pizza time, you want to be, <laughs> be sure that you grab like a bunch and kill as many as you freaking can. But it's uh, annoyingly hard. I mean, you got to be smart about it, I guess. And I'm just, you know, gun ho here. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing something stupid, but freaking tanks they got uh, I'm about to get my ass kicked oh there you go and they're gonna kill me in about two seconds I'm like one shot away from being dead there you go <laughs> anyways that's all I gotta say about that let me know let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely under $2. Uh, again, this is like one of these games that I got to say, when I first got the Switch, nothing was available at over a dollar, okay? Uh, nothing was available really under 50 bucks, to be honest. I think even 60 bucks. All the new games that came out were like 60 They didn't really have that many games that are available as they do now. Now they got these kind of games. So if you're just getting the Switch, you can't afford any other game, you're buying it already with, let's say, the Odyssey Edition or whatever, and you're buying it with some freak, you know, some freaking game, uh, and you want to get another game out of it in your library, this is a real, real uh, cheap game to get. And let me just uh, check. I'm going to just tell you what the... Uh, what the uh, space is on this game so you guys know that it's not taking up even that much space obviously but it's something really cool to have in your library in fact you know what i'm going to check on both of these for you so you guys are going to check if, if you don't have a switch right now so you guys can uh take a look um so we'll see here so we're going right into here um where's that thing 381 megabytes this is like literally nothing and now if you want to go to where is it modern combat which is like modern warfare i'm sure this one's probably even much much more but you know it is what it is um let's see here space is 4.1 gigs so this is a big one okay the other one is in the megabytes area and the 300 you know upper 300 uh, parts, but I mean, you could clearly see it's because of the graphics of the game. Eleven ninety nine is so freaking cheap for this game. Definitely a steal. Again, if I was playing, uh, you know, first persons uh, on on a Nintendo Switch, I would definitely buy it. But those are two games that I highly recommend. Everything else, let me look at this one. I, I haven't played this one yet, but I might even get. Nah, this looks like crap. But you see what I mean? So you got some crappy games out there, but you also have some really good ones uh, out there that I highly recommend you guys go ahead and get. So really cool. Just you know, looking through here, but uh, really cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, self-funded here. We're uh, independent you know, over here. No funding, no nothing. Tired as hell and literally just wanted to show you guys this game uh, and also tell you about Modern Combat because I think there are two great, great games that are really cheap. Obviously, Saint Row 3 is going to be really amazing it's like our only chance to get like a grand theft auto game like on uh, nintendo switch but the thing is to have these games that are under a dollar uh, i mean under two dollars is incredible or even under twelve dollars which is modern combat is just freaking incredible so i highly recommend it let me know what you think down below this one too i have it i did a review for you guys so definitely check the channel out on that uh raging justice which is like uh what was it oh my god uh streets of rage it feels like streets of rage uh, slash uh, Batman Forever, because it looks digitized, slash, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but definitely uh, look into getting these games really cheap. And right now they have a big sale going on, so you could see 40% off on Modern Combat. I think it was 10% off on the other one, so you got it for $1.79. Definitely look into that, especially if you're planning on getting a Switch anytime soon. Those are games that you definitely want. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, this is our channel, so definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell button as many more videos to come. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.
As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.